Hey guys, I'm Mo, Medusa Seed Bank. Today we're making a quick video on how to make STS, which is silver thiosulfate. That's what we spray a female plant with to reverse the sex, causing it to produce male pollen with all XX female chromosomes. This is how we make feminized seeds. Super easy process. Anybody can do it. Okay guys, so get right into it. Making sodium thiosulfate is a pretty easy process that just involves four basic ingredients. Your two chemical ingredients are gonna be your sodium thiosulfate and your silver nitrate. We like to get uh, Regent Grade, available pretty readily online from chemical supply companies or even an, uh, Amazon, anhydrous Regent Grade sodium thiosulfate powder. We're gonna get anhydrous Regent Grade silver nitrate crystals. And we're gonna use pure distilled water. Don't use tap water or well water. You need to use zero PPM pure distilled water that doesn't have anything in it. And your fourth ingredient is a surfactant. You can use Dawn dishwasher or you can use something like this. This is a great surfactant made of a yucca extract, easy wet, just a drop or two in your final solution. So you break up your surface tension and your solution spreads across the surface of your leaves. So getting right into it, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this at a one to four molar, molar ratio. So we're gonna take 2.5 grams of our sodium thiosulfate. We're gonna weigh that out specifically, make sure we get just 2.5 grams and we're gonna mix it with 500 milliliters of our distilled water. So we've got a solution of 500 milliliters mixed with 2.5 grams of sodium thiosulfate and we're gonna put that in a nice amber storage container and label it part B. Then we're gonna take 0.5 grams of our silver nitrate. We're gonna weigh that out as well, make sure it's just at 0.5 grams. We're gonna mix it with the same amount of water being 500 milliliters of our distilled water. Once we've got that mixed, we've got both part A, silver nitrate, and part B in our nice amber storage containers, light proof. Those are gonna last you about six months if you keep them in the fridge, guys. We are going to then draw 50 milliliters of part B into a separate mixing container. Then we're going to draw 50 milliliters of part A and we're gonna mix part A into part B while stirring our mixture. Make sure you make that, that it's in that order. Part B goes in first and part A mixes in while stirring. Then you've got yourself 100 milliliters of concentrated STS. And all you gotta do is dilute it and spray it on your plants. Dilution ratio that we recommend is to take that 100 milliliters of your concentrated STS, put it in a light proof brown spray bottle and to fill the rest of the spray bottle. So add another 900 milliliters for a total of 1000 milliliters of your final diluted STS spray. Your last ingredient is to just add that drop or two of your surfactant spray on your plants. So the spray schedule, you're going to start about five days before flower, spray again at flower, and spray every five days afterwards until the pollen is dropping. Super easy process, super effective, and this is how you make feminized seeds, guys. So check it out. And check out Medusa Seed Bank. That's where we make our feminized seeds. And we've got a really lot of amazing strains. You guys are going to love them. Um, remember to like and subscribe. We've also got a lot of other videos with a lot of informative grow tips and uh, things that you guys might want to check out. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you at medusaseedbank.com.